Hello all. Hope you are doing well and having a great time. It's another rainy evening over here. On the same day we going to see about how to use UiPath extensions for browser so that we can use the same browser for UiPath based automation. Without any further delay, let's get inside and see how to do the same. Hi. So on your screen it is a UI path studio. So today is a day where we're going to see how to enable extensions for the browsers to make use of browser based automation like web scraping or web navigation, browser usage and multiple other automations using UI path. So this is a UI path studio. I'm closing the welcome screen go to something called as tools UiPath extensions are available for varieties of browsers so whensoever I want to use for different sets of browsers we need to select the browser type click install and boom it will get installed so let me show you installing with Edge browser so click on Edge UiPath browser successfully installed that's all so we need to go to the browser page and we need to enable it so let me open a browser so if uh, after enabling if I am opening for the first time it will be asking for the enable extension so just click on enable extension done the browser extension got enabled so from next time if I am using any kind of browser based activities I can select the edge browser if I am en not enabling this extension what is the pain area we going to get us we cannot click on certain links we cannot perform few of the tasks what's mentioned by default the open browser activity will be working with IE that is older versions of Edge called as Internet Explorer in Windows so let's see like where I am going to select this because I have enabled only on Edge browser so I need to select in my activities I need to select the Edge browser where to do it so clicking on start going to your process so it's opening a pop-up where I'm going to give like browser extension as a name just creating it across give the location and then description if required so it will uh, go through the dependencies whatsoever we have already available in the studio and it will create you the workspace once the workspace is created we can click on open main workflow it will open a blank automation flow there click on drop activity here click on that it will open a search console in the top type if I type browser So I'm clicking the open browser activity double click so it has opened so in the open browser activity if I highlight that activity and in the right side properties pane there is something called a browser type by default it is blank if it is blank it going to use IE so what we're going to do is I'm going to select the drop down and select something called as edge so anytime if I now run this particular automation it's going to open a edge browser so let's quickly check so URL what I am want to do hit us www.mjid.in so this is our own website so I'm hitting this website and I'm not making anything as I have given the input I need to give output so browser output I'm selecting right click and create a variable because at any point time input and output variables needs to be created that variables will be available over here either we need to create it and then we need to pass it or while passing itself highlight it right click and create variable so that way you could able to create the variable so now I have created the variable if I run this workflow what it will happen is it will open a edge browser and navigate to www.mjit.in so let's see I am clicking on save as usual 
before we run on any of the flows we need to analyze it click on analyze file and I am click on validate file yep no errors found it is giving the notification so it's fine I am going to click on debug file and run file if you see it is opening a edge browser automatically and hitting the respective URL whichsoever I have made it to hit and if you wish to validate whether your extension got installed or not you can anytime go to the three dots of the browser that is edge browser click on extension and then scroll and check UI path web automation is this installed or not thank you that's all for the day so please comment your queries or any particular topic you want us to create it also please like share and subscribe our channel please visit www.mjid.in for further learning topics blogs and course materials thank you so much have a nice day ahead.